Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Waf, and for those of you that have been wondering where I've been for the past three weeks, I've actually been in Mexico, in Tulum, um, on, on the beach. I've been staying there with one of my friends. Fortunately, you could actually go to Mexico, you can fly there, and you can actually go to the beach, and you can stay there like I did for the last three weeks, um, which was perfect to just get away and just have a little bit of a break from all the madness that's been going on. You know, I mean, here in London right now, it is completely shut down. There is nothing open at all. It's completely dead, which is so weird to come back to. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was fortunate enough to go away and just actually have a couple of weeks on the beach, which was amazing. Uh, caught a little bit of sun. We were staying exactly on the beach. It was perfect. Um, but after three weeks of being there, it was time to come home. I've got so much to do back here. Uh, obviously, I have my channel, this channel, uh, that I haven't got to do anything with for the last three weeks. And also, I've got my record label, which has just got... To, it's just so much to do when you have a record label. It's relentless. There's just It's just endless stuff. And keep getting to... I get, keep getting towards the goal of releasing it. But then there's something else that you have to do, which delays it. I'm now, like, in the process of getting my vinyls and stuff printed, which take, like, three months now. Because of COVID the actual pressing of your vinyl takes three months which is ridiculous so to do anything to have any release on a record label right now if you're doing vinyl you have to wait at least three months to be able to even do the release so with that and all the artwork and all the printing and all the merchandise and stuff that I'm having made and you know I'm having to get t-shirts and stuff made in Pakistan then having to get samples sent from there back to mine in London to check over them to see if, they, if they're good or not if they are good I then need to send them to a guy in Portugal to get them manufactured um, it's just so much to do and that's just a little part of it so yeah I've had to come home for this um, and to be honest I'm glad that I'm home even though there's nothing going on London is you know it's miserable right now uh, I've had to come home so anyway Basically, I'm just saying I'm back and I hope everybody is well and everybody's managing through these mental times um, But yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna be doing some more videos uh, I'm gonna go straight into watching the new Godzilla vs Kong, which I haven't actually seen yet I've seen pictures of it um, I've been holding off onto these things because I wanted to do a reaction for them when I got home So I'm gonna go straight into these ones. I'm gonna do God Godzilla vs Kong Resident Evil Eight, the village. There are some other trailers that I want to react to. I do have an actual list uh, on my YouTube that I've saved of all the different trailers and stuff that I've seen over the last couple of weeks that I've just been putting aside and waiting so I could come home and actually do some reactions for you all. Um, I can't remember the name of them though, so I will go through them. Just be expecting some more videos now. Now I'm back. I'm going to be full on with it, get some more content, um, get some more gameplay going on. Uh, I am playing Cyberpunk actually still, and it feels like, actually, Cyberpunk is really starting to feel like it's moving towards being fixed. Uh, I've been playing it for the last two days, and it hasn't crashed once. I've probably, I've probably, probably, <laughs> I've probably been playing it for about seven hours maybe over the last two days and it hasn't crashed once which is crazy because usually it will crash once every hour at least and it hasn't it hasn't crashed at all uh, I haven't seen any bugs I literally haven't seen one bug yet and that's a bit that's a bit mental because in cyberpunk you usually see something at least a guy stood there like this or like a car blow up or some guy just looking weird like an NPC walking weird or some sort of random shit is usually happening in cyberpunk when you're playing it and I haven't seen any of it I know that they did uh, have this new 1.0 1, 1. Um, patch the one patch one or whatever it was I know that that just came out and that also created another problem um, with one of the main characters in the main storylines called Takimura. Um, I know that he, there was a situation with that which was game stopping. There was like a crash or a bug that was preventing you from being, a, being able to actually play the game uh, past a certain point. They have just released a patch which has fixed that. So it feels like Cyberpunk is actually getting towards being fixed which is great news for me because i've actually loved cyberpunk from the very beginning like i played it straight through right away right away from day one i just played it right through and completed it within a week the main storyline anyway uh, i did i didn't really do any side missions i didn't do really any side gigs and when i completed the main story i realized that there was just a shitload of stuff that i had not even seen 
I kept seeing people like posting stuff about it and I was like, I've not, I've not seen that. And then I realized I've actually not even really done much of the side missions and side quests. So I have started Cyberpunk all again. I'm going through a second playthrough. I did do it a third time, but I, I lost that save file. Uh, I'm doing a second playthrough as a nomad and I'm doing a female V this time and I'm going through it properly and I'm doing every side mission when it comes up and when the gigs come up and I'm really enjoying it again and to see that it is being fixed, to see that things are working better, it's not as buggy, well it's not even buggy at all for me, uh, it's not crashing, it's giving me hope and I really hope that, fingers crossed, that they really get this properly fixed within the next patch which I think is in February. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for that because it really deserves to be played and to have the, the praise. Like, it really des deserves to have praise. I know they fucked up and I know that they created a lot of issues for themselves. Dishonesty, the review situation, not letting people review it um, before it was out, not using their own game footage, just stuff like this, holding, the, hold, holding all that back. They've lost a lot of respect and it was very dishonest of them and I also understand that. So there are people that are really pissed off. My friend Tom, he's like been pissed off of it. Um, and I've played it and it's been an amazing experience for me personally. Uh, despite the bugs, I've still enjoyed it and really enjoyed the world. And now playing it for a second time, I can see that there's so much more to this game than I even realized to begin with. And I loved it in the first place. So for me, it's like a whole new game again. And I just want all of you lot to be able to play it and really enjoy it as much as I have as well. So yeah, just getting to know that it's getting, getting there is really good news. So anyway, just wanted to say hi. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to go straight into doing some reaction trailers for you all. And I uh, hope you're all good. Take care and I'll be seeing you on the next one.